<sighs> okay. Time for the epilogue. And we can take a walk around town and see everything that we want to see. Including this smug son of a bitch. Chris, you survived Su Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 64 bucks. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on a project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture for soccer ball so many three times. Gotta go to Kuleg, so attempt study hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Not at the library. There's an anime review. Read it. No, 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 no. Yes. Teens Corner Monthly 2 Review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. I'll let her tell you. It makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one. It's more stale than Robin I ain't at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and the older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Oh, Alphys. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Man, I would love to, if I could fucking get up there. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working on a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Hm. Hey, it's Undyne. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! We're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asko's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Yeah, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Aw, uh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> Some report. Office. Office? Who's office? I know who you're talking about. Why? Did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see office, I'll tackle them. <laughs> that's good as dead. Eesh. Yeah, that's something that hit me pretty hard the first time I played this game because uh, Undertale, Undyne, and Office are basically a canon couple. And here it's like. Well, not only does Undyne have two friggin' eyes, which wasn't the case before, but... Anyway. What? There's a Dark World inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against Dark Worlds, anyway. That's a job for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. <laughs> Alright. Hospital. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear as well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Pink. I thought you'd play a bit better than that. It's one of those sliding bee toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. Ah, uh, Dad. I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I die. I literally die. Well, sweetheart, the first time I laid eyes on her mother, I watched her, I walked her up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. She slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Yeah, I was dragging this place with three. Neither yet. Yeah, I'm still at the ice palace. I've been kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well, maybe 
maybe you should leave. Yeah. You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Project voice. Great guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It's uh, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris. Just give me the starlight shot. The straight shot. Whoops. Why are you here? Did you hear... Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay. Seriously. You wanna chat or something? Yeah, let's talk about Noah. She's a sweet girl, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus. Everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to be like, even afraid of humans under the bed. Chris was not nice if she was to hide under there, by the way. That's what tough... What's, that's what's tough about being in here. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, you can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey, Chris, you want to Don't worry, there's no way you can board me right now. Know this. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. That's no big deal. Nothing all they can handle. I'll be out of here in the chief. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <sighs> yeah, Chris, even if we're growing apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Asgore's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> we're just playing your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, oof. She had always fussed about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the smack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but... Roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? I ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. It's a get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris. You know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? That's actually an interesting sign, though. It's an angel pop. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. The angel? Well, it's in decimated in the end. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh, right. You and Assy tried to make one, too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. It's a sink. Hey, Chris. Is that sink really more interesting than me? Yes. Goodbye. But yes, it is interesting that uh, Chris never saw the uh, card before, even though he wrote it. It either says he didn't write it, or maybe at this current point in time he doesn't remember anything. Anyway, there's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in the circle. The fuck? Who are you? This castle's white wizard relegated me to the healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle. What can happen here? It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale, using Ice E as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy. I'm sweating. Yeesh. Hmm. Hey, it's science! And he's at what is very clearly Grillby's. But he just renamed it. <laughs> hey, look who's walking around. <laughs> How are you, kid? Hmm. 
Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, great to see you again. Who the hell are you? Mm, no? Good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood scout. Hey, that's my shtick. What's up? Store. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. Well, hey, I really want to buy some milk. Someone on complains to the guy who runs it. Friends, we just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Anyone I should know better? Me. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump strands of friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like it. You got Sans' number. Noise. What's up? Friends. I just want to this. I already know. Yeah, me, Alphys. Alphys. Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. I thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuff it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Jamma trailing on the floor. Anyway, the relationship is a purely business. So I guess I'll just let her do her thing. What's up? It's... My mom! Your mother, huh? Too late. Are you befriended your <laughs> Did Sans fuck my mom? <laughs> She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Oh my god, he fucked my mom. So she's gonna lock her door to stop you from eating. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Oh my god, Sans fucked my mom. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help or something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Yes. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be mine, my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. See ya. Hmm. I will discuss what I'm thinking when I'm done exploring the town. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant trust in the bones. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? The fuck? Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Okay. Hey! Yo, Chris. You survived Susie, ha. Huh? I mean, I never saw her being well up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into the off, off Sundine's car. Then, when I came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us a handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Haha. -ha. Nah. She was just, uh, what's the word? Nervous. Ooh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. Ha ha ha. If I skip class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. I'm really gonna hurt your face. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. <laughs> oh, Chris. Chris, you okay? I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. I'm not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. What's this? It's a saucer book. Oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Yeah, what's the milk for? Oh, this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Yumi. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat. Chris. 
Chris. Even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most horrible show ever. Make sure you don't watch the past second since they just uh, and they stop trip. some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. We even participated to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> oh. I don't remember singing this. It's a graveyard. Gerson Boone Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, I saw my best ideas come from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. That's true. That's true. Oh my. I remember once for uh, my university thesis essay, I actually wrote the, well not the entire thing, but most of it in a dream. Uh, and then I wrote it when I woke. Well, most of what I remembered when I woke. Remember, remember I got a distinction on that essay too. I guess my dream self is smarter than my non-dream self. Anyway. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, snowy gemstone of a proud mother. Mutton, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shire, karaoke microphone for a brave singer. This is different. Uh, I don't remember this. It's locked. I guess it'll be something we can take a look at in chapter two, or three, or four, or whatever. Town Hall. It's a bear. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your first bee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Shut up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. It's a 
painting of the town. Scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. I looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Anywhere else? Oh, I don't think I went here. Or here. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, Ice Ease Peasy Pizza. Your number one spot for a piping hot peas of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. No, buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Yeah, what's up, Azri? Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example chicks which as a matter of fact uh, which as a matter of course may not have ever actually happened but one time undying make eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket co-workers ah uh, yes little buddy good idea meet the rogues gallery blue ears soft serve obsessed no concept of personal space keeps accidentally pulling slushies on there giggling the warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries, constantly terrorizing customers with poor chance. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, uh, I'm my coworkers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, oh buddy, a much happier place. Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. I see, I see. Hell, I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player. There's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. He just took it out. <laughs> but it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where as he is. Then I'll get a theater degree, became a, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Alright. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal. Cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Step on down to Icy's Pizza. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. Right. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Bro, that's annoying. QC's Diner. Ooh, everyone's here. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special. And do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Hey there. Haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service. You and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen, and then... We all stop coming together. Every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. You'd order your hot chocolate, and you two sit down at that table at that corner, drawing shapes in the windows with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, I'll hold this. You got the hot chocolate. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. So we drink. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks that really suits a fire element. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny buffets, and a piece of firewood. Fuck, now I want crepes. I probably shouldn't be recording when I'm hungry, huh? Oh shit, what happened to your arm? Hey, neighbor. Neighbor, baby. 
When's your brother Doug coming by? Ha ha ha. My girl would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Ha ha ha. Little Chrissy, like what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ha ha ha. I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything though. Your choice. Asriel. Oh my god, Asriel! What a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch ball all over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. We got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Haha, <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Sister. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me I'm playing as an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Little Chrissy, do you want to talk about something? Neighbors. Like, that green girl next door. Oh my god, Chrissy. She's, like, my life for them. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters too, and the only other person in the theater was her. And I went to QC's and ordered cappuccino, and she, like, was already drinking one. And she's such a copy cat. A copy cater? Copy source? Cop? I don't know. She sucks. <laughs> oh, Chris, like, if you walk him in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. Hi, Chris. Do you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so I'm... Um, I actually got a few things ready for you, in case... Ah, sorry. I can't right now. I forgot my house keys again. Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Uh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Yeah, let's talk about Susie. Susie! That's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Now, uh, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know. I mean, who doesn't know about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, can you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Anyway, this is another trick, isn't it, Chris? Serious? Gosh, maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Honestly, she's nice. I might die too. Anything. Uh, Chris, are you feeling alright? No, you're not so talkative. Well, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Uh, Chris, is something wrong? Well, I think you go to the hospital to see my dad. I mean, I'm sure you appreciate it, but. Forget I said anything. I mean, that is a good point. Imagine you just go to the hospital to see someone else's dad randomly. That would be kind of weird. Anyway. Hi, Chris. Something up? Key. Huh? I don't ask my mom for the key. I... I mean, I... I, you know... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Oh. Either her mom is the mayor, or her mom is dead. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Does she realize she'll never be me? Honestly. The whole family is, like, so trashy. Once her sister saved me a coffin, I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hair nut, girl, for, like, your whole body. I don't like her. Knock, knock. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? That's a time. Hey! It's our boy. Or a guy. 
Dum de dum. Oh, it's that sound there. Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris! I'm sorry. I forgot if, if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now, make yourself a home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Alright, give me all your money. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Damn it. It's a flower. It's some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine on the end. Flowers. Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? <sighs> well, I remember this reference to something. It's a purple flower, protected in a container. Science flower protecting the container. Mm. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Dude sleeps on the floor. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. See flowers. Throw of your mother and your father on the wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. One, two, three, four. Oh shit. Reindeer looking monster stands there behind a tuxedo. They'll look happy. I don't think I ever picked up on that. These aren't reference to the souls, these are the flowers that Toriel had on her wedding. Damn. That's very sad. Inside is a jar with a strange with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. It's a small TV on top of some superhero comics. Must be the one she got, he got from the office. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Gross. It's a door. It's locked. It's a dirty water can. Yeesh. Wonder what happens if I go up this way. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Alright. Oh, it's his truck. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is there with old papers and country CDs. Yeah, who listens to country? Actually, my boyfriend listens to country. <laughs> Speaking of poor friends, I'm out the bed and hang out in the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> I guess. Oh. There he is. Hey there. Most you are here. It's me! You know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular, I just don't have any friends. But it's okay, you're here. Because you're here. You're here? Will you be my friend? Yes! Oh, oh, I'm so happy, you here? I'm so happy I... I... I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Chris. Chris! That's you! That's your own nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my name. Chris, can you give me your name? Onion. Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Onion? Yeah, it's perfect. Onion. 
That's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Chris. Christmas? That's your name, right? I'll tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Well, that's not disturbing in the slightest. After this, this is where we get to new things in Chapter 2. Before going forward, I'd like to talk about at least a couple of things in regards to this game, nothing serious. Um, the key, C key, it leads to a bonus boss um, called Jevil or something. Uh, he's an incredibly difficult boss. He's essentially, he was essentially this game's version of Sans with how difficult he was. I wanted to give it a try, but I guess I progressed too far forward. I kind of thought that after beating the king, I'd be able to go back and deal with him later, but I guess, no. Maybe next time. Uh, or I don't know, if people want to see me attempt him, I can make a video about that. When I'm done playing through the entire game, of course. Uh, now, as for the story, I don't know if Chapter 2 elaborates on this, but I think at this moment, because Undertale and Deltarune are very meta, I think that... Uh, Chris is not Chris right now. Unlike with Frisk or Kara, well, Frisk was strange because he was never actually... He was less a character, more an avatar for us, and very rarely did he have his own character matters. Very rarely did he do things of his own accord. Uh, which is why when going genocide rounds uh, on the it's Kara controlling him, being an avatar through him. Frisk is non-binary. I think, I don't even know, but then, then, uh, compared to Chris, Chris clearly had autonomy, um, and had their own personality and their life and whatnot, before when I'm controlling them right now. Because everyone's like, why are you acting so different? Why are you remembering some things so strange? Hell, even with Sans, um, I said, who the hell are you to Sans? But if you pick the other options, like, it's good to see you again, it's like, weird, I've never seen you before. Ain't that strange? And I think Sans is suspicious about Chris. I do think it's the Sans that we know compared to everyone else. Uh, because it's very clearly that he knows more than he's laying on, which is usual for Sans. But yeah, I think, oh, wait, actually, before we go in, let's call s some people, see what happens. Ring, ring. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I'm not giving you a ride home. Our house is not far. It's just at the top of town. Try walking. It builds character, honey. Click. Let's call Sans. Ring, ring. Hello. You have reached the hotline of idiot... Babies? Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, 4 for none. 1. Ah, you're an idiot? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Click. Thanks, Sans, you son of a bitch! Okay. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Chris, what is it, honey? Flowers! Oh my god. I completely forgot about this song. Okay. 
Jane's soundtrack is great. Flowers. Oh, Chris. Flowers? For your mother? Oh, sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Doesn't the trash smell like flowers? It's a trash can. Somehow, it emits a pleasant floor scent. Yep. Me. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon, you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in? So he bought the head bun with the little red horns on it. Oh, you were for months. Whatever happened to it. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, doesn't it? But, unfortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Azrael. Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him, themed around it. Your father painted all those eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he saved that book about eating green eggs. shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like fantasy there's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth the promise in our hearts don't forget I'm with you in the dark If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, and maybe watch some more. 
Feliz Año.